may take their seats, the guests also may be seated. By the powers conferred on me as the secretary of the body of benchers, I call the house to order and welcome the chairman and honorable members of the body of benchers to this unique occasion of the March 2024 call to bar ceremony. May I also take the opportunity to felicitate with parents, guardians, well-wishers, and friends of the applicants here in present and those viewing the live coverage of this call to bar ceremony. May I now, with the leave of the Chairman Body of Ventures, call on the Chairman of the Council of Legal Education to step forward and report on the state of readiness of the applicants here in present for call today. Mr. Chairman, sir. Ventures leave is hereby granted as prayed. As the Chairman pleases. Mr. Chairman, sir, the students of Nigerian Law School who have successfully completed their training and passed the bar final examination conducted by the Council of Legal Education are ready for presentation to the Board of Ventures for call to the bar. May I respectfully, Mr. Chairman, seek leave to call on the Director General of Nigerian Law School Professor Isa Hayatu Chiroma, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, to present the report and to summon the applicants for call to appear before the Honorable Benchers. Benchers leave is hereby granted as prayed. As the Chairman pleases. The Chairman of the Body of Benchers, Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odile, DSC, CFR, Live Bencher. The Vice Chairman of the Body of Benchers, Chief S. A. O. Molo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Live Bencher. Immediate Past Chairman of the Body of Benchers, Chief Wale Olani Pekun, CFR, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Live Bencher. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Olukai De Ariola, GCON, Live Bencher. The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice, Prince Latif Olusaka Mifak Bemi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Live Bencher. Past Chairman of Body of Benchers, the Chairman of Council of Legal Education, Chief Imeka Ngige, OFR, SAN, DSSRS. Distinguished Honorable Members of Body of Benchers, Honorable Justices and Grand Cardis here present. The President of Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Yakubu Chinoko Michael, OON, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Members of the Inner and Outer Bar, Distinguished Senators, Honorable members of the House of Representatives, Executive Governors here present. May I endeavor also to acknowledge the former Honorable Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice, Madam uh, Mohamed Bello Adoke, who is here with us this morning. Our royal fathers, proud parents, guardians, and relations, ladies and gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to welcome you all to this solemn and memorable ceremony for the admission to the Nigerian Bar of successful candidates at the November 2023 Bar Final Examination conducted by Nigerian Law School under the supervision of the Council of Legal Education. I sincerely and heartily congratulate all successful candidates for their hard work and dedication, the joyous reason of our presence here today. To all the proud parents and relations, I convey warm felicitations on the remarkable success of these candidates, who in a short time will become, a new weeks, will become the new weeks of the Nigerian Bar and proud members of our noble profession. Let me now, on behalf of the Council of Legal Education, Management, Staff, and Students of the Nigerian Law School, invite you all to share in the success and joy of these candidates we are celebrating today. No doubt, the new learning skills, knowledge acquired, 
and expressed by our soon-to-become new weeks brings great joy to the entire Nigerian law school community. Security concerns. Recall that in my address to the distinguished body of benchers at the July 2022 call to the bar ceremony, when I raised the case of heightened security in our dear country, especially around the host cities of our headquarters and campuses. I am also to bring to your attention that we have continued to witness the occurrence of these orchestrated fears and rumors of eminent attacks on the Nigerian Law School headquarters, Buari, and its environs. However, adequate safeguards for, the, for, for all the campuses, and especially here in Buari, have been fully deployed and enforced by the glory of God. To the glory of God. We thank and appreciate the efforts of the federal government of Nigeria, led by His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, His Excellency, Nisong Wike, and all security agencies for their invaluable concern and support to the Nigerian Law School. May Almighty God continue to protect all of us. Amen. Establishment of Niger Council of Legal Education and Nigerian Law School. The Council of Legal Education was established by the Legal Education Act 1962 to provide vocational training for law, law graduates aspiring to, uh, for call to the Nigerian Bar. The Nigerian Law School, which is the training arm of the Council of Legal Education, is a multi-campus institution with headquarters in Abuja and campuses in Lagos, Inugu, Kano, Yenegua, Yola, and Patakot. From these seven locations, we train over 7,000 um, aspirants annually. Continuing progress at the Nigerian Law School. As reported previously, we have continued to leverage from the achievement of our past teachers and leaders. Today, the Nigerian Law School has had sustained its enviable growth and development for six decades. To the admiration of many, the importance of the Nigerian Law School in manpower training and development of our country cannot be overemphasized, particularly in the aspect of administration of justice and sustenance of rule of law. It is crystal clear from inception the Nigerian Law School has, been, has the sole responsibility for the vocational and practical training of university graduates for admission to the, Nigeria, to the Nigerian bar. From its humble beginning in 1963, with eight students at its one block campus at 213A, Igboshiro, Lagos, the Nigerian Law School has grown to a seven campus institution spread across the country with the yearly intake of over 7,000 students. This is a testimony to the healthy astronomical growth not just of the institution, but also in the legal profession. In, this 19, in the 60 years of its existence, the school has had an uninterrupted session as there has never been any incident of closure of the institution on account of students' unrest, strike action by staff, or for any other reason. Nigerian Law School has contributed to the training of the entire arm of government, that's the judiciary. It is a tribute to the school that all judges of the various courts in Nigeria, including our distinguished Chief Justice of the Federation, are products of Nigerian Law School. Likewise, the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, all states attorneys general and commissioners of justice, law officers serving in their chambers, are all products of Nigerian Law School. It is also significant to note that large number of members of other tiers of government in the country are products of the Nigerian Law School. The school has also contributed to training of legal manpower for our sister African countries like the Republic of the Gambia, Republic of the Sierra Leone, Republic of Cameroon, and a number of countries from the East and West Africa have visited the law school to solicit information and assistance on the establishment and development of the law schools in their various countries. The products of the school have commanding presence in other spheres of public and private sector, such as the military, police, customs, immigration, oil and gas sector, banking and finance, insurance, and other corporate world in general. So also professors, lecturers in the university and other tertiary institutions. Some of these products have achieved profound feat of getting to the top of their career nationally and across the borders. Report of Academic Excellence and Fiscal Infrastructural Development at the Nigerian Law School. Nigerian Law School has, under our watch, witnessed more positive transformation in the areas of academics, robust administrative and fiscal infrastructure development. Again, of course, building on the past, past achievements and legacies. Recently, we have adopted an improved best practice for our teaching and learning programs at Nigerian Law School. The outcome is shown in the excellent results as, and grades of candidates 
at the bar final examination. Recently, the Nadang Law School the Nadang Law School headquarters and campus have equally witnessed the, in the period under review new constructions, renovations, and remodeling of main structures and buildings. Hitherto, continue to suffer serious neglect on account of poor budgetary allocation. It is no longer news that we have achieved and still making difference largely due to prudent use of lean resources at our disposal and through the gracious intervention of good spirited Nigerians, organizations, and other concerned stakeholders. We've listed from page six to, to page seven various um, projects in the Nigerian Law School over this, uh, this year. All the campuses have benefited. So let me use this medium to thank and appreciate the Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory, the government and good people of Adamawa State, Rivers, Ebony, and Inugu States, and other benefactors of their, of, for their kind intervention and firm belief in the Nigerian Law School Renewal Project. May God reward your kind, your kind interventions and assistance. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ventures, I'm happy to place on record the latest interventions in the Nigerian Law School from the following distinguished personalities. Mr. Femi Otedola, who has agreed to build a new staff quarters in Lagos campus. So also, Alhaji Ali Kodangote has agreed to build a new hostel in Kano campus of Nigerian Law School. So also, the Honorable Minister of Federal Capital, Barrister Wilson Wike, CON, has agreed to build staff quarters in Abuja campus and also to provide official vehicles for the Nigerian Law School. These interventions are coming at a critical phase of a de development, period, development period where there is astronomical increase in the number of applicants into the Nigerian Law School. Words are not enough to thank you for your intervention in the Nigerian Law School. Distinguished Chairman, members, may I also place on record the Honorable uh, Governor of um, Adam House, His Excellency Amadou Fintri has agreed yesterday to build a new hostel in Yola campus. We, we urge others to follow your steps. Propose Diamond Ghibli celebration of the Nigerian Law School. To the glory of God, our premier and only institution, we saw Monday of vocational training of law graduates in Nigeria has turned 60. Yes, you will agree with us that this is a feat, a great feat and cause for celebration. Pass on to above, the Council of Legal Education has proposed a Diamond Jubilee celebration and constituted relevant committees to professionally mark this great achievement. Details of these activities and programs, as well as invitations, will be communicated to you shortly. We kindly request members of distinguished profession, state governors, parents, guardians, friends of Nigeria Law School, and other good people of, to support the Nigeria Law School. While celebrating our 60th anniversary, we look forward to a generous support to the Nigerian Law School. You may wish to donate a building, buy books, computers to the law, to library, provide a ball, buy a generator set, install solar system, or any project of your choice. Mr. Chairman, distinguished mentors, presentation of November 2023 BAFANA examination result. Mr. Chairman, distinguished members of the body of benchers, I'll be presenting to this call, to the bar ceremony, a total of 4,412 candidates who are successful at the 2023 November bar final examination, as well as 14 candidates from previous bar final examination. I'm happy to report on the good performance recorded by these candidates as seen in the executive summary. Outstanding and general performance. A. Total number of students who participated in the examination, 5,300. Total number of candidates who are successful at the bar examination, 4,412. The Nigerian Law School is proud, proudly happy to report that a total of 251 candidates backed first class grade in the last bar final examination. This is indeed outstanding, excellent performance, and of course, unprecedented. These figures translate to 83.3% success at the bar final examination. I wish to assure all of you that we shall remain the gatekeepers of our noble profession as teachers and administrators. We will continue to uphold the standard and integrity of the bar to the new weeks. I sincerely congratulate our candidates for call to the bar today. I also felicitate with their parents, guardians, and relations on being part of this memorable and auspicious occasion. No doubt, today is a day of great joy to you all, having come this far in realizing your dreams of becoming members of this noble and uh, profession of law. My prayer for you all is that Almighty God will grant you 
all rewarding career at the bar. I enjoy you to make best use, best of the legal profession, since it is your free will to belong to it. Belong to it. You must also ensure strict adherence to the norms and ethics of this distinguished profession. We wish you the best for the future. Sincere appreciation. May I at this time respectfully seek the leave of Chairman and the Senior Member of the Body of Ventures to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, and our Supervisory Ministry, the Federal Ministry of Justice, headed by, Hon by Honorable Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice, Prince Latif Olusa Kamifak Bemi, SAN, Live Venture, for the support always given to us as an institution. I must place on record also the support and assistance of the Solicitor General of the Federation and Permanent Secretary, Federal Minister of Justice, which is Beatrice J.D. Agba. I also wish to thank the Chairman and members of Council of Legal Education, our parent body, for their support and guidance at all times. The same appreciation goes to Chairman and members of the Body of Benchers for their constant support and encouragement. I must also mention the Secretary of the Senior Body of Benchers, headed by the Secretary, Taylor, uh, Daniel M. Taylor, for their cooperation with us at all times. Finally, with all sense of duty and responsibility, I wish to commend the excellent work ethics of the academic and administrative members of staff of the Nigerian Law School, who work tirelessly and most times beyond call to duty to ensure that ta the task of producing the legal manpower needs of our country is sufficiently attained. Affirmation of learning and character. The distinguished chairman of Body of Ventures, members of Body of Ventures, may I present to you the aspirants assembled this morning for call to the Nigerian bar. They wish to and are eligible to become members of the learned and noble profession of law. They have successfully completed their vocational training at Nigerian Law School as prescribed by the Legal Education Act. They have all taken the prescribed examinations as well as the dining terms and met all the required conditions set by the Council of Legal Education. I'm happy to affirm that they have exhibited good manners and decorum during their training. They have also been groomed in the best ethics and ethos of our noble profession. Together with all the academic and administrative staff of the Nigerian Law School, I have closely monitored these aspirants during their training and I vouch for each and every one of them as men and women of learning and character. As demanded by our, uh, by our August body, the screening committee of the single body of ventures have carefully perused the records of each and every one of these aspirants and found them to be worthy to be presented for call to the Nigerian bar. I attest they are fit and proper persons for call and admission to the Nigerian, laws, Nigerian bar. Mr. Chairman, sir, may I respectfully and in my own honor present to the single body of ventures this uh, aspirant assembled here today and those for, from previous call here okay. present for call to the bar at this ceremony. Thank you for the privilege and God bless. By the powers conferred on the body of ventures by section 3.1 of the Legal Practitioners Act and by the powers conferred on me as chairman of the Body of Ventures by Regulation 16 of the Body of Ventures Regulation 1983. I hereby admit each and every one of the 4,426 applicants herein present severally to the bar as barristers and solicitors. You may now put on your wigs. You also have to bow to the benchers. Silence, please. Mr. Chairman, sir, 
May I respectfully invite you to deliver your address and your charge to the new weeks. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, sir. The Vice Chairman, Body of Ventures, Chief Adegoega S. Awomolo, SAN, Life Venture, past Chairman of the Body of Ventures here present, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Oluka Ode Ariwola, GCON, former Chief Justices of Nigeria here present, President of the Court of Appeal, Honorable Justice Monica B. Dombwan Mensim, CFR, Life Venture, the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Prince Latif O. Fagwemi, SAN, Life Venture, the former Attorney General of the Federation, Mohamed Belo Adoke, Life Venture, Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Chief Ezenwonye Somwike, CON, Life Venture, distinguished Life Venture, some members of the Body of Ventures, the Chairman, Council of Legal Education, Chief Emeka Ngige, OFR, SAN. The President of the Nigerian Bar Association, YC Makiao, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Honorable Judges and Cadis, Distinguished and Honorable Members of the National Assembly, Members of the Inner and Outer Bar, Your Royal Highnesses, the New Weeks, Proud Parents and Guardians, Ladies and gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The new lawyers may sit down. I have the honor and privilege to address you all on this momentous occasion of the March 2024 call to bar ceremony, as the chairman of the body of benchers, I am grateful to Almighty God, who has graciously made this happy day a reality. On behalf of the body of benchers and the entire legal profession, I applaud and celebrate our brand new weeks, whose success today is a testimony of their determination, academic excellence, and good character. You may have gone through the period of purification and now pure as gold. I pray that God, who has brought you thus far, will make your journey in the legal profession fruitful and successful. Amen. I extend my congratulations to the Council of Legal Education under the chairmanship of Chief Emeka Ngige, OFR, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, for the positive policy directives and quests to ensure quality legal education in Nigeria. In the same vein, I also applaud the entire faculty of the Nigerian Law School under the able leadership of the Director General, Professor Issa Hayetu Chiroma, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, for their dedication over the years towards inculcating practical knowledge and molding fit and proper candidates for call to bar. To the proud parents and guardians, I congratulate you all. Your efforts have not been in vain, as today marks a climax in your struggles towards providing sound education for your children and wards. I sincerely share in your joy today, and I urge you to continue to show your support and pray for the new weeks to succeed. I most sincerely recognize the individual and collective role mem role members of the body of benchers play in upholding the ethics and ethos of our profession. The body will continue to play this very important role as the body with the highest distinction within the legal profession. There are so many opportunities available within the profession, therefore make wise use of every opportunity you have. Always remember all you were taught and put put same into practice. The profession you now belong to is the most noble of all, a profession where everybody is somebody, where you all now are VIPs. 
you must therefore be seen as living above board. The expectations on you are much. You must not disappoint all those who look up to you. It is your free will, and so I presume, to belong to this noble profession. Therefore, you must always abide by the rules and regulations guiding the profession. You have been called to the bar in a very important historic period in the legal profession in Nigeria. A period when the good, the bad, and the ugly are all operating at the same time and in the same space. The good to the extent that the Supreme Court now has the full complement of justices required to man the court. The good also to the extent that the welfare of judicial officers is being taken seriously and the body of benches alongside other relevant bodies is championing the process. I have read in the papers about the increased funding of the judiciary, which is a positive development. I hope it will be backed by adequate release of funds as and when due. It is a bad period in the sense that the judiciary is being bashed and public confidence in the legal system is dwindling, occasioned by incessant conflicting judgments by our courts and flagrant indiscipline amongst lawyers. In order to address this vexed issue of conflicting judgments, the body of benchers has constituted a committee made up of ranking members of the profession to come up with the best possible ways of addressing the concerns. When the committee completes its assignment and presents its report to the body of benchers, it will, upon consideration and approval, be forwarded to the relevant bodies for implementation. To our newly admitted colleagues, it is appropriate for me to remind you of some salient truths about the profession that you have entered, the noblest and only learned profession of law is known for its sanctity, integrity, honesty, objectivity, and respect for the rule of law. I therefore employ you as learned friends to demonstrate the highest level of professional ethics and decorum wherever you find yourself and steadfastly preserve the honor and dignity of the profession. Duty of counsel. Your role as lawyers and impute in ensuring that the noble profession lives true to its reputation cannot be overemphasized. My advice to you is that as you joined this honorable profession, one would expect you to behave with honor and dignity at all times. You have all been adjudged to be fit and proper persons to be admitted to the bar, and you must show this to be true in your dealings with colleagues, clients, and with the courts. I urge you to endeavor to always adhere to the rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners 2023, which is a holistic guide to all legal practitioners. For the sake of emphasis, permit me to briefly highlight some pertinent rules you must adhere to. A. Honesty stroke accountability. Honesty, as the saying goes, is the best policy. A lawyer must be honest to his or her affairs. In his or her affairs, especially when it relates to advising clients and dealing with clients' money. Rule 23, sub 2 of the Rules of Professional Conduct for Legal Practitioners 2023 states, quote, where a lawyer collects money for his client or is in a position to deliver property, on behalf of his client, he shall prop promptly report and account for it and shall not mix such money or property with or use it as his own, unquote. This is a very vital provision and is one of the major cases filed before the Legal Practitioners Disciplinary Committee. B, relations with the courts. Rule 30 of the Rules of Professional Conduct Supra states that, quote, a lawyer is an officer of the court, and accordingly, he shall not do any act or conduct himself in any manner that may obstruct, delay, or adversely affect the administration of justice. 
Unquote. The rules prohibit a lawyer from misleading a court. In fact, the rules encourage a lawyer to disclose to the court any legal authority in the jurisdiction known to him to be directly averse to the position of his client and which is not disclosed by the opposing lawyer. C. Dress code. Your noble appearance today is not merely ceremonial or just for taking pictures, but has become part of your life as lawyers, as you very well know. Rule 45.1 of the Rules of Professional Conduct states, quote, except with the permission of the court, a lawyer appearing before a high court, the Court of Appeal, or the Supreme Court shall do so in his robes, unquote. Instances of young lawyers not adhering to the prescribed dress code is becoming an issue of concern, and I encourage you to strive to change the narrative. D, media trial. One of the issues plaguing our dear profession in recent times is the contentious and polarizing spectacle of media trial. The negative resultant effect of media trial is prejudgment which can erode the foundational pillar of an individual's right to a fair and unbiased trial. Lawyers who engage in media trials sway with public opinion and potentially skew the trajectory of justice, sometimes turning the people against the courts. It is unethical for lawyers to be addressing the media when fully robed, particularly after court sittings, as we have seen in recent times. For the avoidance of doubt, it is unethical for a lawyer to address the press on matters that are pending in court. Rule 33 of the Rules of Professional Conduct states, quote, a lawyer or a law firm engaged in or associated with the prosecution of or defense of a criminal matter or associated with a civil action shall not, while litigation is anticipated or pending in the matter, make or participate in making any extrajudicial statement that is calculated to prejudice or interfere with or is reasonably capable of prejudicing or interfering with the fair trial of the matter or the judgment or sentence thereon." Unquote. It is therefore also unethical for lawyers to be discussing and arriving at conclusions on matters pending before the court. It is against the rules for lawyers to engage in advertisement, touting, and publicity. The rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners are unambiguous on these issues, and they are simply stated in readable language. Therefore, you are not to engage in soliciting professional employment for seculars, by seculars, advertisements, truthouts, or by personal communications or interviews. This does not stop you from using your complimentary cards. Likewise, the idea of charge and bail lawyers is not acceptable and amounts to unethical conduct on the part of the lawyer. I urge you all to imbibe the provisions of, of the rules of professional conduct and adhere strictly thereto, bearing in mind that this august body, which has admitted you to bar, is also vested with the power to discipline you through its legal practitioners' disciplinary committee whenever you are in default. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Pupillage. My advice to young lawyers is always not to rush off to start law, law practice on their own. I have always maintained that pupillage is a fulcrum of the development of our noble profession. And I will urge you to toe that line. Undergoing pupillage with a senior colleague will afford you the opportunity to master the practical and intricate nature of law practice as your degrees may fail you at some point. Your time of pupillage will also serve as a learning avenue for the ethics of the legal profession. Law office management and concepts such as seniority in the bar. 
in the same vein with pupillage is mentorship, which is a major contributing factor to all successful lawyers today. Mentoring cannot be overlooked in seeking a solution to the falling standards experienced today in our profession. The Body of Ventures, in its wisdom, commenced a mentoring program for all young lawyers, zero, that is yourselves, to seven years post-call in 2023. Let me use this medium to congratulate the members of the Body of Ventures and young lawyers who participated in the maiden edition of the program for the successes recorded. The second edition of the program is, is built to commence sometime in June 2024. And I enjoin all the new weeks today to actively participate in the forthcoming mentoring program, amongst others. Remuneration. The welfare and remuneration of lawyers, especially young lawyers, should be critically looked into, especially in view of the current economic realities. Young lawyers in private practice are practically left to fend for themselves, as their take-home pay is so poor that it can barely take care of their basic needs. I would like to use this medium to call for, all, for an urgent upscale review of the remuneration of lawyers. I am aware that efforts are being made to improve on the welfare and remuneration of judicial officers. It is my humble opinion that this good initiative should also be extended to the bar. Once again, on behalf of the body of benches, I congratulate all of you for bringing honor to yourselves, your relatives and friends, some of whom are gathered here to witness the ceremony of your call to bar. May the Almighty God guard and guide you to uphold the honor and dignity of the legal profession in Nigeria and throughout the world of jurisprudence. I cannot conclude this speech without acknowledging the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Olukayode Ariwola, GCON, for the leadership drive his Lordship is providing the judiciary in the same vein. I commend the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Prince Latif Ofagwemi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, for steps taken towards improving the justice se sector in line with global best practices. Similarly, special thanks to the Honorable Minister of the FCT, Chief Ezenwonye Somwike, CON, for heeding our clarion call on him to complete the road network around the body of ventures complex. Chairman's charge to new legal practitioners. In the time-honored tradition, I hereby close with the chairman's charge to our newly called legal practitioners. Quote, you may now go forth in your new weeks from this day forward to serve Nigeria and serve humanity in justice, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Thank you, and may God be with you and return us all safe to our various destinations. My learned friends, please sit
You don't give me any give me photocopy of the this side. Yeah. Just do at the end. Mr. Chairman, sir, we'll go to the second segment of the call ceremony for today, which is the presentation of prizes to aspirants, the new weeks here present, who have distinguished themselves while serving as students of the Nigerian Law School. The first category we are going to take today is the first class students, the new weeks, there were 251 of them. May I call on you all to rise? May I again state that the fact that the chairman and body of benches has graciously approved that she's going to give you a, an honorable handshake. <laughs> so if I call your name, quickly come forward. You come this way, shake the hands of the chairman, take a bow, and then go out that side. I hope you are clear. You come this way, take a bow, shake your hands with the chairman, and then you move through that way. The press men, please uh, give us some space so that we can be able to do that swiftly. Mr. Chairman, sir, may I please call this step forward? May I call on the Chairman Body of Ventures, Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odili, CFR, JSC Retired, to please step forward. The first we have on this list, Abbas Amina Danjuma. <laughs> Abdul Fatai Onyida Mola Olabisi. <laughs> Abdul Salam Zainab Omobolanle. Make it snappy, please. Abegurin Peter Abimbola. Abere Miabi Prisla. Abolaji Victor Oluashei. Achilu Victoria Chidima. Adaji Samuel Imakoji. Adams Favor Ejiro, Ade Bite Azizat, Ade Subomi, Ade Goke Damilare Mary, Ade Leke Olubukola Wisdom, Ade Luba Ife Olua Jesu Pelumi, Ademu Ete Emmanuel Owecho Yito. Adenei Ade Tos Lese Samuel Adeniran Ifeolua Mabel Adenei Temitope Olufemi Adeniran Adeola Bello Halima Oluato Adeoye Ade Yinka Rafia Ade Godan Yatin Orisonu Ademi Olua Shewun Tomitope Ademi Tolutope Josephine Ademo Kabir Opayemi Adiego Jennifer Inango Adio Bukola Esther Afolabi Adoronke Salmat Afolabi 
Yabode Alice. Agba Zure Olumachi Blessing. Agbo Johab Mmeson. Agbo Emanuela Ezine. Aguda Aminat Oluafemi. Aina Bolaji Anjo La Loa. Ajama Rie Blessing. Ajayi Iyenolua Glory. Ajide Ibuko Lua Faith. Akande Adenike Olua Damilola. Akin Bemi, Akin Bemi Allah, Victoria Adenike. Akin Musure, Shina Victor. Akin Pelu, Akin Lua Samuel. Akin Tayo, Oriofe, Omo Busonyola. Akin Tola Paul, Olua, Olorun Femi. I can turn the damn dollar blessing. I can wale Mary Olua Yemisi. I can wale iti Olua Kisi Olua. Akpabio idara ini alabi precious Olua Juwoni. Alile osa Rodion Desmond. Anuma Pisla Ovayosa. Anuwe Francis Olusayo, Araka Chukuneke Akosa, Arak Besola Adeta Your Favor, Aruwa Joye Tunulope Ore Olua, Asuko Mirabel Ofion, Atenaga Victory Efeto Bore, Atilola Ikeola Dokas, Awo Yemi Ayomide Olua Fumiso Azubiu Ikechuku Princess Ogechi Babalola Anu Olupo Wapo Ife Olua Bade Joko Selimot Joko Tade Badmos Suleiman Ayodele Bakari Deborah Busayo, Bakari Kainde Kaleb, Bankole Inolua Tolua Mimi, Bello Damilola Esther, Ben Igwenyi Favor Chide, Chikere Homa Chimenu, Chikwe Chidozie Batlomi, Chinye. Ifani Chuku Oluchi, Kristen Stella Onwanoma, Chuks Agu Excel Great, Chuku De Bilo Celestina Onwaneka, Chuku Emeka Benjamin Azubike, Cosmas Deborah Chidalu, Deborah Damilola Esther, Diala Onyechi Victory. Dio Demisi Blessing Ogene Yero Ebo Yemen Blessing Echiberi Mary and Goodness Idem Idem Uwem Idema Oluwa Sheyi Ayodeji Egba Clementina Claudius Egbo Barbara Ukela Buchi Egunjobi blessing Olua Femi. Egundayo Malabisi Victoria. Ime Ikemo Ikema Marvelous Amarachi. Emele Ogonaya Great Nko. Eme Mukomo Gesi Emi. Ene Chinaza Goswill. Ehabo Adesua Joyce. Ero, Eroku Joy Ifioma, Eru Chalu Amarachi Favor, Eitayo Abigail Oluwa Sheung, 
Izike Olive Chisom, Fagbo Lade, Ewa Loa Blessing, Falade, Oluwa Tenyo La Precious, Feyinto La Peace Bolanle, Fola Wewa Abraham Olakunle, Bade Segin Miriam Tomitope, Jean Dozia Amanda Ola Jumoke, Hastrop Adetumbi Wura Ola, Hassan Fatima, Ibanga Glory Uko, Ibema Fayo Sochuku Vivian, Ibitoye Odunayo Ibifunke, Idowun Akorode Olua Bukola, Idun Anefiok Idem, Ibokwe Chinemema Emanuela, Iburu Ogen Nemeka Favor, Irobi Ifechuku John Madwe. May I invite the Vice Chairman Body of Ventures, Chief A. Saomolo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, to kindly step forward and stand in place of the Chairman to congratulate the first class. Iroju Eniola Christiana, Isaiah Mary Assam, Isajini Emos, Ishola Hakima Bemisola, Ishola Oluwa Shegun Emmanuel, Jegede Mariam Oluwa Shei, Jeje. Oluwa Yansola Oluwaku, Jimo Olaide Latifat, Jonathan Chunwendu Jessica, Karim Olu Olayemi Olu Lade, Kau Mariam Ibrahim, Kayode Ishola Oluwa Sike Oluwa Tum, Kazim Raliat Roots, Kola Wole Oluwa Bukomi Olabowa. Labisi Oluwa Tamiliora Eli, Lanian Omobola, Lawal Adibisi Bilkis, Lawal Ashishat Omolade, Lawal Aminat Odunayo, Lawal Ibrahim Abiodu, Lawal Mutiat Adironke, Lawrence Emmanuel Dion, Blessed, Mohamed Rukayat, Nebe Victor Chibweze, Nsofo Olue Bube, Oku Chuku, Nwan for Chino So Jasper, Nwan Ko Obia Nama Chinenye, Nwoka for Chidera Inkem, Nwon Fit Machirotu, Nyong Emanuela Felix, Obi Margaret Chioma, Obiagu Shupurium Precious Obingene Odinchezo Obiara Victor Obiara Obiri Bemi Patience Obisesan Esther Temitope Obodo Elue Jessica Oboni Itsogene Evelyn, Odafo, Ocho Ogogo, Odesanya Similolua Mary, Odono Okuchuku Harrison, Odukoya Ayolo Wade Abigail, Odusola Oluwa Banke Joy, Oduye Onyeka Cynthia, Ofordili Ifunaya Root. Ofodum Michel Mesoma. Ogala Simi Solua Demi. Ogwekwe Goswil Osa Ruse. Ogungo Aziza Toluwalase. 
Ogun Jemi Ayomi Kon Elizabeth. Ogun Lewe Oluatosin Aisat. Ogun Meru Dalapo Ayo. Ogun Wale Olua Bukola Victoria. Ojako Chiamaka Linda. Ojako Great Ifani Chiku. Okachi Justina Chike Sirim. Okafo Injideka Chioma. Okafo Vivian Adogu. Oke Bankole Titus. Oke Ke David. Oke Ke Miraku Ifena. Oke Nwa Ani Chine Cherem Gladys. Okoli Akirika. Ginika Chiku Norris. Okbaleze Charles Ikena. Opara Give Chuku Andy. Okudaji Emanuela Esogene. Okunade Ele Rola Ibu Kunolu. Okunomo Adebanji Benjamin. Okwe. Mwan Neka Millicent. Ola Biran Abigail Fun Lola. Ola Dipo Walia Tenyola. Ola Jide Melo Motola. Ola Riwanju Moses Testimony. Ola Soji Iwalua Victoria. Ola Yenka Olua Sheyi Sera. Ola Rufemi Olu Wakamie Tabita. Olumide Miraku. Oluwabu Solam Olusoga Oluwa Toyin Adironke Olutoki James Temidayo Oluwa Dari Adisola Ruth Oluwa Shakin Afa Peloluwa Beatrice Omaha Otu Sorochi Junior Omo Ni Omo Umi Comfort Oni Oluwa Tomi Susan. Onori Esther Chidima. Onye Ijoma Machi. Oparaji Chinonso Sylvester. Orelu Tega Alexia. Orelu Tegi Alexia. Oji Unzube Chuku Anthony. Osakwe is your ma princess. May I respectfully invite my Lord, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Josoluka Idea Ariwola, GCON, to kindly step forward. Thank you, my Lord. Osifolu Bilkis Titi Lyo. Ovigo Ogeteme Annabel. Oolabi Ebunolua Olayinka. Ola bi Yusuf Ola Tunji. Oye de Miriam Adejumoke. Oye de Po Folosha de Debora. Oye ni Wurola Miriam. Oye Sanya Zinat Oluwa Tofumi. Oye Wale Benjamin Temitayo. Oye Wole Sunday Babatunde. Oye Lola Timisayo Esther. Saidu Bajia Maji, Saka Ahmed Amira Oyemi, Salau Hafiza 
doing sola. Salau Faru Kadini. Salio Aina Adebomi. Seido Sera Avoshai. Selefene Jennifer Oyebuchi. Sheka Ephraim Emmanuel. Shobade Glory Jade Sola. Sodia Esther Oluwa Seyitan. Solodu Obet Chin Zurum. Sunday Miriam Dominic. Taiwo Kanyisola Abiodun. Taiwo Nehemiah Tommy. Tijani Aminat Oluwa Bukola. Uche Fevo Gozirin. Uche Ndu Egene Ekene Jessica. Uche Na Victor Chime Ruchea. Odeju Rosemary Oluchi. Odeku David Oliver. Udo Blessing Hussein. Udo Francis Udeme. Udo Shekina Emmanuel. Ujumo Ngozi Priscilla. Uko Adaugo Glory. Ukwabi Success Amarachi. Umeche Monica Morenike. Umo Comfort Isen. Umo Deborah Idara Obon. Umo Koro Enyeovo Gostein. Uwele Kingdom Kingdom. Owoleku Osarehan Ogechi. Wajian Ibeke Victor. Wilson Wilson Good Epeho Peace. Yadeka Victoria Onida Mola. Yahaya Miriam Oluwa Pelumi. Yakub Okpono Munira Anesi. Ye Yesofu Similolua Roda. Yusuf Rokibad Ademola. And last but certainly not the least, Zagi Gift Ina. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We will go to the second segment of the uh, prize presentation. These are for the new weeks who distinguish themselves in various subjects and courses offered in the Nigerian Law School. With the kind permission of the Chairman Body of Ventures, we will proceed to take this second segment of presentation. So if you hear your name, please kindly come forward quickly, take a bow, shake your hand, collect your price, and then take your seat. We we'll maintain the same order of protocol as observed earlier. The first category of presentation is property law practice. The donor of this award is Sir Danley Alexander, Chief Rotimi Williams, CFR SN, and Chief Ernest Shonikon, GCFR. These are the names of the donors of uh, this category of award. 
And for the first position, before them, may I call my Lord, the Chairman of the Body of Ventures, once again, to kindly step forward to do this presentation. Thank you so much, my Lord. First prize, Umokoro Eyalvo Gostan. Second position, Abegunira Peter Abimbola. Third prize goes to Sodia Esther Oluwa Seita. Thank you so much, my lord. The second category is of civil litigation, and the donor of this category of award, Honorable Justice Olujide Shomolu, first prize, Chief Richard Akinjide, CFR SN, who is a one time chairman of the Body of Ventures, Honorable Bo uh, Prince Bola Ajibola, CFR SN, a one time chairman of the Body of Ventures. The Okay, to do this presentation, may I call on the Vice Chairman Body of Ventures, Chief A.S. Aomolo, SN Live Venture, to kindly step forward, please, sir. First prize goes to Umokoro Eyalbo Gostan. Second position goes to Lawal Aminat Odinaya. And third position goes to Echebire Merian Goodness. The third segment of presentation criminal litigation. The donors of this award are as follows Sir Lionel Brett, Babatunde Abiodu Nibironke SN, who is a former director general of the Nigerian Law School, Debo Akande, who is a one time chairman of the Body of Ventures, and Dr. Mudiaga Oji, who is also a one time chairman of the Body of Ventures. The first prize in this category goes to Okwe Nneka Millicent. May I kindly pray the indulgence of my Lord, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Dr. Luka Idari, would like to kindly do this presentation. The second prize goes to Okafor Njideka Choma. The third prize, Adio Bukola Esther. The fourth category is out of corporate law practice. Corporate law practice 
we have the name of the donor for the first prize category is Justice J. O. Shofola, a former uh, DG of the Nigerian Law School, and Justice Ayo Iri uh, Kefe, GCON, a former chairman of the Board of Ventures. That is the donor of the first prize category. And the winner of that category is Umokoro <laughs> Enyorobe Gostan. May I crave the indulgence of my Lord, Honorable Justice Mahmoud Mohammed, GCON, former Chairman, Body of Ventures, and former Chief Justice of Nigeria, to do this presentation, please. The second position goes to Azubure Ulomachi Blessing. The name of the donor of this award is Dr. Nabo Graham Douglas, SN. Then the third prize for this category is donated by none other than the Vice Chairman of the Board of Ventures, Chief Adebo Yoga Aomolo, SN, and the prize goes to Abegurin Peter Abimbola. Make it snappy, please. Professional Ethics Skills. For the first prize category, we have um, three donors. The first donor is Honorable Justice Kayode Esho, who is also a former chairman of the Body of Ventures 84 to 85. Chief Idewu Shofola, MONSN of Blessed Memory, who is also one time chairman of the Body of Ventures and the Body of Ventures itself. So these are the categories of the donors. And the first prize goes to Afuye Michael Oluwatimi. To do this presentation, I crave the indulgence of Mr. OCJ Okocha, OFR, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, former Chairman Body of Ventures, to do the presentation. For the second prize position, we also have two donors. First is Mr. Mohamed Bello Adoke, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, who is a former Attorney General of the Federation, and he is here present with us. Sir, can you stand up for recognition? The second donor is Mr. Oke Aku Bundu. Now, the winner for this category is Jaja Charis Tamonokuri.
the third prize category, we have two, we have, we have a donor who is also a member of the body of ventures, Mr. Damien D. Dodo, OFR, SN Live Ventures. Can you also stand up for recognition, please? Now, the, we have two uh, recipients under these categories. The donors are Aden Iran Ifeolua Mabel and La Sisi Oluwa Tami Loren Elizabeth. Thank you, sir. We have the category for a special prize. This category is donated by Mrs. Hirat Ade Balogun, ON, a former chairman of the Body of Ventures, in fact, the first female chairman of the Body of Ventures. And the donee for this category is Ujomu Ngozi Priscilla. May I humbly invite Honorable Justice Moru Eri, CON, Life Venture, one time Chief Judge of Kogi State, to kindly do this presentation, my Lord. Then we have the category of the best female student of the year and best male student of the year. We are going to take it together. The same donor that we have on this category is donated by the Bonime Jackson Lot Foundation. That's for both, uh, for both the first uh, best female student of the year and that of the male student of the year. And to do this presentation, may I uh, crave the indulgence of my Lord, the President of the Court of Appeal, Honorable Justice. MB Dongbon Mensem, CFR, Live Venture, to kindly do the presentation, please. Thank you, my Lord. For the best stu female student of the year, Lawa Aminat Ogunayo. Best Male Student of the Year, Umokoro Gostai. The next category of award is for the best overall female student of the year. The donor is the National Association of Women Judges. May I crave the indulgence of my Lord Honorable Justice R.P.I. Bozimo, OFR, Live Venture, to kindly do this presentation. And for this category, the name of the donee is Lawal Aminat Odunayo. And again, the next category is that of the best overall student of the year, presented by the NLS class of 1980, and the Doni is Lawal Aminat Odunaya. <laughs> the 
The next category we have here, Best Overall Male Student of the Year. The name of the donor is Malam Yusuf Ola Olu Ali, Student Advocate of Nigeria, a life venture, a serving member of the Body of Ventures. And this goes to Umukoro <laughs> Gostein. May I kindly invite Chief Albert Akomuje, Senior Advocate of Nigeria Life Venture, to kindly do this presentation. Thank you, sir. Best female student in criminal litigation. Now, the name of this donor is Mrs. Oluwatoyen Dohati, is a former director of academics, Nigerian Law School. And this award goes to Okwe Nwaneka Millicent. May I kindly invite my Lord Honorable Justice B.S. Bansi, OFR Live Venture, to kindly do this presentation. Best female student in civil litigation is presented by Honorable Justice Aloma Miriam Mukhtar, GCON, former Chief Justice of Nigeria and former Chairman of the Body of Ventures. May I kindly call on Mr. Tijani Inu Adutse, MNI Live Venture, to kindly do this presentation. And the recipient of this category is Lawal Aminat Odunayo. <laughs> <laughs> 